Can I read the Qur'an without doing any wudu? Please advise. The majority of scholars say that it is essential for a Muslim or a Muslimah to be in the state of purity when reading the Qur'an. And by reading the Qur'an, I mean touching the Holy uh, uh, Qur'an. Reciting it without touching the Qur'an, you don't have to have uh, uh, or you don't have to be on, uh, in the state of wudu. But to touch the Holy Qur'an, the majority say that you have to uh, uh, be in the state of wudu. And they have a, a hadith where the Prophet ﷺ sent a book to Yemen and he advised his ruler there not to allow anyone who is not impure or in the state of impurity to touch the Qur'an. But scholars say that this can be uh, uh, called the state of impurity on a non-Muslim because all polytheists are none, uh, 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 not pure. They're impure in the state of uh, uh, morally impurity because of their associating others with Allah Azza wa And also who has the uh, sexual impurity can be also called uh, uh, impure. And those who are not in the state of wudu also can be called impure, not tahir, and so on. So uh, it, it can go in different ways. But it is preferable for us to stick with the four scholars, with the majority of scholars that say you have to be in the state of wudu. Okay, is, it, is there any difference here uh, in terms of reciting the Qur'an without the mushaf um, between being, uh, not having wudu and being in a state of major impurity? Well, the, the, the sister was asking about uh, uh, impurity that is caused by um, uh, passing the wind or answering the call of nature, not about the sexual uh, major uh, impurity. But uh, yes, there is a difference. If a person is in the state of uh, sexual impurity, then he must not recite the Qur'an in the form of getting closer to Allah, in the form of worship. Because this state of impurity is not going to last for more than four or five, year, five hours, and afterwards he's going to be uh, obliged to have a total bath in order for him to pray. Therefore, it's okay for us to tell him, do not recite the Qur'an in this short period, with the intention to get closer to Allah. But if you are going to bed in the state of sexual impurity, uh, you, there are certain verses that you recite before going to bed in certain chapters of the Qur'an. It's okay for you to recite them even if you are in the state of sexual impurity because these are not considered to be reciting the Qur'an. These are supplications that are said before going to bed. Okay, thank you, Shaykh. Um